Welcome, Commander. In our final video, we will discuss the improbable, but always possible, case of your team making first contact with alien life on your flight to Alpha Centauri. Our futurologists have come up with several scenarios for how contact with the spacefaring extraterrestrial race might unfold. This simulation will introduce you to the most likely scenarios and how to handle them. In the event of contact with an alien entity, by either actively engaging in contact or being hailed by the ship, the interface will switch to zoomed-in mode. Similar to our overview for visiting asteroid fields or points of interest in open space, all movement is clearly mapped to a two-dimensional plane. We expect most communication to take place between ships within relatively close proximity. The odds of aliens speaking any of our languages seem unlikely, however the translation matrix built into your communicator should allow for basic communication. This will start with just a few keywords and adapt as conversations continue. We still have designed the interface as simple as possible, putting together questions or statements from short building blocks. Choose a field you want to discuss and then the most fitting option that the matrix has learned the vocabulary for. Remember, aliens may take a different definition from questions like ask work, ask for work, ask about their work. We assume that their translation systems will be capable of more natural responses. Technical details aside, there is much to consider here. How will an alien species react to humans? We will simulate a peaceful meeting first. It might be possible to trade goods like raw materials, but a spacefaring species will surely also have developed a currency for the transactions that we can use. Our Futurology department also suggests that deep space encounters are likely to take place on stations rather than planets, saving all parties the energy cost of planetfall and escaping gravity. We expect a reasonably standardized system for airlocks, which your ship should be able to adapt to with relative ease. Its sensors will search for such structures and highlight them for you here. Apart from possible trade and the most baseline requirements for forming an interstellar civilization, we cannot predict what the psychological makeup or culture of such aliens might look like. We have created a simulation with several branching options to show you a few possibilities. We start with you saving a member of an intelligent species proclaiming to be an ambassador. But how can you assess social or political rank among such alien beings? Helping an ambassador of an alien species might be a good first step to secure friendly relations with their civilization. But in our simulation, you will come to doubt the rank of your passenger when bounty hunters start asking for them, describing them as an imposter and insisting that you hand them over for punishment. Who is in the right? And how can you know who has legal rights? Generally. The morals and ethics of alien species might drastically differ from ours. These beings might be warmongers or see no problem in fraud. Maybe they do not recognize the right to freedom and trade slaves. In such a situation, you must use all available evidence to decide how to proceed, up to and including lessons learned by choosing poorly. At some point, argument is inevitable. To this end, we remind you that your ship will be fitted with mining lasers and an experimental shield. You can activate them in zoomed-in mode, but will have to deactivate them again to leave local space. These armaments have been designed to protect the ship in dangerous space and allow you to mine asteroids for valuable materials. The lasers could however also be used for defense. The cannons are located along the broadsides of the ship and have a short reload time after being used. The interface will use acoustic signals and a trajectory line to tell you once the reloading has been completed and you can deploy another full salvo. We cannot foresee whether alien technology will prefer projectiles or energy-based weapons, but our strategists recommend that with a science ship like the Daedalus 7, your best approach will be staying on the move and giving the weakened parts of your shields time to recharge. A weakened or deactivated shield compartment takes a moment to get back to full strength, leaving the hull vulnerable. While doing this, attempt to turn your broadsides to the enemy to land as many hits as possible with each salvo and again, prioritize where their shields are weakened or down. For anything else, we trust in your common sense. And remember, we do not actually expect you to encounter any alien life forms on your journey, much less intelligent ones. Just be sure that if you do, you represent Earth and humanity as best you can. That is all. Good luck and safe travels.